Hey everybody, how are you guys doing? You doing okay? It's so good to see you. Hope you're all feeling good and staying safe out there. Well, today I decided to go out and try to find, which I've been researching for a long time, and trying to find the exact location of the Jacob Tome School for Boys that's abandoned, which is up in Port Deposit, and I am here right now, and I'm going to walk around and show you what's left of it. So let's go. Now that road ahead is the road that I came in on, and I decided to park over there, back there where it seems a little secluded, under a tree. Now when I drove in, the first thing I passed was this. Check this out. Not much left here. Now I'm not sure what this building was, but you can see the chimney is still intact. And then there's the fireplace. But look at this. It's just uh, nothing left here. And this is as far as I'm going to go, as far as this building is concerned. But uh, I wanted to show you guys because this is just incredible. Yeah, this was once a school that was founded by Jacob Tum back in 1894. And it was for boys. And they had grades from kindergarten all the way up to 12th grade. Alright, so let's go searching for some more abandoned buildings. So again, that's the road that I came in through. And it was a long road to get here. It's all the way in the back off of, uh, I believe, Bainbridge Road. Now you can see, just up ahead... There are some buildings here, and we're going to go check them out. So as I'm walking up over here on the left, you can see another building, and not much left of it, but it's got more than the other one that we just saw. So we're going to go take a closer look. Yes. Daring. So we look at that. That is incredible. So I'm standing directly in front of it, and that was the entrance right there. Oh, and look, a no trespassing sign, but I'm not paying any attention to that. But this is just what a sight, huh? Been back here all these years. Just uh, letting time do its thing to it. Well, thought there might be a way to get up and take a close look. I am a little daring. So, there. You guys with me, right? in over here. Wow. Check that out. That is amazing. As you can see, it's a beautiful day blue skies it's actually the the last day of summer and it just happens to be a perfect fall day peek around in here want to make sure I don't slip and fall but there we go that's just amazing
truly amazing. All right, let's go check out some more around here. So apparently this was the sign for the school right here. Here's the back of the sign, lots of graffiti. And as you can see, this grass hasn't been cut for a long time. Again, there's that other building that I just checked out. It's actually beautiful in its own way. Again, this was built in 18... 94. All right. All right, so here's that other building, which I'm going to walk up to, take a closer look at. Looks like there's a walkway back there. It's actually very beautiful out here. Take a look at this, the scenery. There you go. Again, this is a port deposit, a place that I've been to many times, even vlogged before, but I didn't know this was back here until uh, earlier this year, actually. And I've been trying to find it, and today, I finally did. Check this out. So they got everything boarded up here. No way to peek inside. Check out these pillars. Made of wood. All right, let's go walk around this building and see what else we see. All right, so one other thing. In 1942, the Tome School Campus was taken by congressional order and it was approved by President Roosevelt, Franklin Roosevelt, and it later turned into the United States Naval Training Center. So that's what this became. And the Tome School for Boys moved to another location so, and it's actually still in existence. Let's go check out some more. So I took that path to the side of the building and it's taking me back. Here's the side of the building here. Well, let's see where this goes. You guys know I'm daring, I'll do it. Let's see. Looks like there's a path down there, but I just see woods. Unless this was something at some time over here. Here's the back. There's a bird up there just flying around. Here's the back of that building, and it looks like there's a small structure over here off to the side. This looks like the only way to get in there is through that window, which is too high. So here you go, here's that other Structure. I don't know what this was. So here's the back of that. You can see. Here's the back of the building. Look 
direction maybe. All these other ones are boarded up. Making my way back out to the front. There's a little shed right there, a shack. See that? All right. Now I'm making my way out of here and I'm a slipped. There we go. Okay. You can see inside, maybe that was for water. That's my guess. You guys know, let me know. Almost looks like a giant doghouse, doesn't it? Keep an eye on me, will you? Okay, so it's actually one huge building. And of course, it's abandoned. From a distance, it looked like there might be some occupation, but nope, not at all. Here you go. Look at that. Is there a way in? Oh, is that a window that's open? <laughs> okay. Let's peek inside. I could probably get in. Should I? What do you guys think? Hmm. Okay, so I'm inside. Being a vlogger, you have to be a little bit of a daring and crazy, and I just happen to be both right now. So I'm gonna go walking around, see if I can see anything. It is dark in here. Let's go check it out together. Okay, well, it is very dark in here. It almost looks like, what is that there? Yep. I see a hallway down there. There's all kinds of stuff hanging from the ceiling. There's a window right there. You can see that that was a fireplace right there. They covered it up. But there is a bit of an opening. That's the way that I came in. There's the window. Back here is a hall, which I'm going to walk very slowly down. Now I know to bring a flashlight when I go into buildings like this. The camera is picking up a little bit. So this is the end of the hall. Looks like that was an exit there. There's a room here, but it's pretty dark. But this one here, we've got some light coming through. I'm wondering if this maybe was a, a dorm. What do you guys think? Could it have been a dorm room? smoking sign. We don't have to worry about that. All right, I'm gonna head back because there's more to see. This is a campus, as you know. There's that dark room. Any ghosts in here? Okay, just checking. And that's the window that I came through. He came in through whatever window this is. All 
All right, I'll see you on the other side. As you can see, I made it out. Well, we did some exploring in there. It was dark, but we saw a little bit. So let's go do some more exploring. Here's another look at the front. And as soon as I came out, I noticed directly across the street that there's another building that I didn't see because it's got trees all around it. So we're going to work our way around. As you can see, this goes around the campus. And we're going to see what else we can find here at the tomb school for boys that's been abandoned for many years. I'm sure there were a lot of other buildings here that no longer exist. Here's a another road that goes out into the heart of the woods. Okay. So let's see. And as I was walking, hey, look, here is another building. Couldn't see it from up there behind me. This looks huge. Wow. And it looks like, oh, there are ways to get in anyway. So I wonder what, what this building was for. Just something up there, I don't know if it's graffiti or what. You guys see that? Can't tell what that is. Looks like ghosts. <laughs> okay, so it is open and yes, I'm going to go inside. See what we can, what's left and what we can see. Well, look at this. Check out those steps. Is that cool? And it goes up. And there's steps over here. Now they, they do not look good at all. But over here, well, let's see. But first, let's go into the lower level. Oh, and there's steps that go down. We'll explore up here. See, here I am on the inside. This is amazing. Isn't this amazing? Oh my goodness. There's another set of steps back there. And there's also some on this side. Does anyone know what this building was for? Let me know. I'm curious. I'm vlogging and being careful at the same time, I'm watching my steps. So this is a big room right here. Pretty cool. Take a walk over here. So I'm now at this big opening on the side. And I came in over there. There's another big opening. But you can see, here's the side of the building or the back. 
Got all kinds of vines growing up. It gives a character, I think. Now, was this a radiator, you think? Does it look like it was a radiator? I'm thinking maybe it was. Oh, look, there is life in here. Here's that other set of steps that was to the right when I walked in. They don't look too bad. Now, there's some obstacles in front of it. Oh, well, it's, you know me, crazy Pete. Oh, they're very sturdy. It's got some stuff all over them. One step at a time. More rust. Okay. Made it. Another room. Graffiti of a ghost. Ooh. All right, so here's another room that I wandered in. And it looks like it had a fireplace there. And what's this over here? Check out the ceiling. You can tell that this was well built back in 1894. Very well built. All right, so apparently there's another level that goes up. Let's see if it's doable. So I made it up those steps. Got one more flight to go and you can see a tree grew right there. And again, here's the railings. Good iron railings. Lasted all this time. But this one here was wood. And you can see it got burnt. All right, so I made it up the steps, and here I am. We just check this out. Let's see if we can get a go in one of these and take a look at the view outside. I am so glad that it's a nice fall day because if it was like hot and humid like the past few vlogs that I did, I'd be a sweaty mess right now. So here's a look over the wall, out back, there's woods. Trees going up here. So now I'm walking towards the front part of this building. I'm gonna take a peek at the view from up here. Again, there's another, looks like a radiator. It's, yeah, it's a radiator. That's what I think it is. So here we go. There's the view from up here. Beautiful area, it really is. Secluded and peaceful. I came back down 
I'm on the second floor. That's where I came in right there. Take a peek down without getting too close. There you go. And I think I'm gonna go take these steps down. And we'll go check out some more. So I, as I was coming through this entrance to go toward those stairs, I found this fuse box. Check it out. Some things are still there. Look, that's number 14, 19. I'd say that's pretty cool. So as I was coming down the steps, I noticed through the trees, you see the blue? That's the Susquehanna port deposit straight ahead through those trees. One of my favorite towns. All right, so heading out now. That's pretty cool, wasn't it? Saw a lot in there. I mean, this is just amazing. Right up here in Port Deposit. And it's been abandoned for many, many, many years. Let's go see what else we can find. So I'm walking down that road. Just to give you an idea, that's the building I was just in. And way up there is where I came in. And I think I see another building over here, which I'm going to head to now. Alright, so here's that other building. It just, I mean, it just keeps getting better and better. We'll take a look at this. This is amazing. And I see a little balcony up there. You guys see that? I hope the sun glare isn't affecting the video. Now this is all boarded up, so I don't think, well, there's a window there. Oh boy. Okay. So I'm thinking maybe this was a dorm. Do any of you guys know? It looks like it might have been a dorm, I don't know. Let's go off to the side here. I see a window. Well, this is amazing. <laughs> okay, so there's some open windows there, but you got to shimmy yourself up that to get to it. Let's see if there's anything open down here. Oh, bummer. So here's that window, and I don't think I'm gonna go in because there's glass here, and I don't wanna risk it, but I will take a peek in. You can see there was a fireplace over there. Looks like a door right there. And there's, appears to be a lot of screens Right there. So there's no hunting or trespassing. Okay. One last look at this building here before we move on and see what else we can find. And just to my left here, here's a street light. Check that out. There's 
There's that building in the back there that I was in. And check this out here. Looks like it was some kind of maybe a courtyard. Not much left, just the steps on both sides. But nothing up here. So as I was walking up, here's what's left of this building. That looks pretty rough. But yet, amazing. So this would have been the entrance right here. Come through. Here's what's inside right now. Look at those chimneys though. All the brick, concrete, and steel has withlasted the test of time. Amazing. Let's look at this side. Walk up here. Wow, look at that. Yeah, I don't think I'll be climbing those steps today. Another look. Again, beautiful blue skies in the background. No clouds at all. It couldn't have been a more perfect day to be out here. So, heading back up the way I came in. I think there's one more building to see up here on the right. Sorry about the wind, guys. It's in a nice breeze, though. Feels good. I think it's right over here. Through these trees. I can see it. But there's a fence. There you can see it, though. It's interesting. There it is. So this is the only one that's fenced off. Oh, but looky. <laughs> you know I gotta go through. Here's that sign again. Keyword, caught. All right, so I walked in. Yikes, what a mess. Another fireplace over there. And steps over here, which I am not gonna go up, it's very dark. And steps that go down, which I'm not going to go down. Too dark. I think I used all my crazy up already for the day. But I will walk over here. Just to get a look out this opening. There we go. There's the back. Another fence. So they had this one fenced off.
But thanks to that little opening, I was able to come in and check some of it out. Now here's another. Make my way over here. Yeah, there are a lot of obstacles. But look at that. Look at the rafters. It's amazing. It really is. All right, we'll head back out now. One last look. Now we'll head back up toward the Beetle Mobile. All right, guys, that's going to do it. I hope you enjoyed checking out the Jacob Tome Abandoned School for Boys up here in Port Deposit. It's uh, really cool to check out, and it's just amazing. See, uh, get it in there. Here's the uh, one of the buildings I was in, but it's just amazing how much is still here and that survived. So, I'm gonna head out. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. It'll keep you in the loop of future adventures like this, and there are plenty more coming up. I promise you. So, until then. You guys take care of each other, stay healthy, stay safe, peace, and love. Bye.